We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Hell ready. Yeah. Because this tea is what? She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. Hey, you guys. What's going on? So anyways, yes, honey. Y'all will not distract me today, okay? That's what the internet is not going to do. I will not let Black China nor Donna from Black Ink Crew distract me from the fact that Drizzy finally dropped the video to God's Plan. And I love the video. I got a chance to check it out this weekend. Y'all know I've been busy editing and getting stuff together. But I love it. I love it. I love the message behind the song. I love the fact that he took all that money and he was helping people out. And that is my part there, honey. I had to start that intro with that, okay? But I know damn well y'all didn't come here to see me rap to damn Drizzy. I know what y'all came for, honey. Y'all came for that damn tea. And I got that tea, so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, okay? So anyhow, what's going on is that right now, Black China has been trending all over social media worldwide. She's trending because her sex tape leaked today. Not one, but two sex tapes. If y'all haven't seen the second one, I suggest y'all go see before they pull it down. But anyhow, so the first sex tape came out and basically it's China with some mystery dude giving him some dry ass head. Well, we later found out that that mystery dude is Michi, the little young boy that she was cheating on Rob Kardashian with. <laughs> And this is what Michi had to say about his big old beef stick being plastered all over the internet, okay? So Michi So Crazy says, first off, I've really been chilling, working on my career when the last incident happened. I kept quiet, I stayed low key, but this is not beneath me. I can't believe anybody would stoop this low. I stay in my lane, I don't do drama, I focus on family and career, just about to release my project, and I gotta deal with my dick plastered all over the world. You got to be fucking kidding me. Well, I guess he's upset. I'm not getting for being upset, but come on, Meech. Like, stop with the, stop fronting. First of all, he's packing, so he shouldn't be that damn embarrassed, okay? But I get it, I get it. It's nobody's business. It's not our business if he's packing or not packing. But at least he's packing, so, you know, that kind of helps the situation. Now, as far as Black China. The second sex tape to me just looked a hot damn mess. This is why people need to stop injecting their ass with all types of weird shit. Her ass literally at one point looked like a damn square. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on with her booty? It was just like, just weird shape. It was just weird. It was just, it was just really cringy to watch, okay? When I tell you social media has been dragging her all day, the jokes are being cranked out, the memes are being cranked out, but Black China said, you know what? I got something for y'all ass. Whoever leaked my sex tape, you're going to jail. You're Going to jail today. <laughs> Y'all remember that bus driver who uppercut at that girl when he was like, You're going to jail now. So Black China says she is pressing charges. She's going to find out who leaked her sex tape. She's not here for the foolishness. She went and contacted her lawyer, and I don't blame her. You know, all jokes aside, it's not funny. If she didn't release this, then nobody else had the right to release this. But again, people need to use common sense and realize that when you're having sex on camera, and especially in the world that we live in with technology and stuff, people can hack into your phone, people can hack into your computers. So it's probably better to just not record yourself having sex if you're some type of personality or celebrity. Just save those memories in your mind i mean come on what the fuck were people doing you know before video cameras and cell phone cameras they were just having sex and then reminiscing about it later on they weren't going back and hitting play so a lot of people not just people like black china not just famous people you need to really think twice before you record yourself on camera okay so now in other sex tape tease donna yes honey donna from black ink crew i mean goodness we don't went from damn black panther to black china to black ink and this is all in the month of black history. I mean, if this isn't a lit ass black history month, I don't know what is, okay? All this blackness. But anyways, Donna, the damn freak of black ink crew, you know, I mean, you could just tell it was only gonna be a matter of time before the vagina slayer, he's a new guy on the show, he's like the newest cast member, before he literally slayed her damn vagina, okay? Donna and her dusty ass literally allowed somebody to videotape her in a bathroom getting broke off by vagina slayer, aka Alex, okay? And he's rolling a blunt and they're literally having sex right there on camera. And it's like, what the hell is going on in this world that you have women who just lack so much respect for themselves? You know, it's one thing to 
her shit leak. Like Black China situation, that was different. She wasn't putting on a show. Her situation was she was hacked and it leaked. Donna is literally looking in the camera, laughing, you know, kicking while she's leaned over a toilet and some man is, you know, hitting her off from the back and this is being filmed and, you know, posted on social media. I mean, I was disgusted watching that. I mean, I'm not shocked. Like, Donna is a smut bucket. Like, let's keep it real. I'm right here. I said that you stuck with everybody in the shop. Like, this is your thing. You know, all this <laughs> my <laughs> She has had sex with every cast member on Black Ink, including Duchess. So much so that Duchess accused her of rape. I mean, that whole situation was a hot damn mess, okay? Donna is a freak. She will try anything. She's supposedly in a long-term relationship with her boyfriend, who's, you know, been doing everything for her and treating her right. And this is how she repays him, by getting smashed over a toilet by damn Alex while he's rolling a blunt. This video is just disgusting and trashy, and I'm not surprised at all that Donna is somehow involved. And, of course, Donna's not embarrassed. She you know she's taking on the chin she's thinking that this shit is cute and it's sad that these are the type of females that are idolized these are the type of females that end up on television these are the type of females that young girls literally look up to and watch on tv and this is how they're behaving it's gotten so crazy that bambi had to speak out on the foolishness now you know when another ratchet reality tv person has to speak out on some shit you know it's gone way too far but i mean a lot of people are attacking bambi which made no sense sometimes you have to ignore the messenger and look at the message and to me Bambi has never really been involved in anything ratchet yeah she's gotten into a few fights on television but for the most part Bambi has always carried herself with respect she's not hopping from you know reality tv guy to reality tv guy she's been with Scrappy for a long time so you know I was glad that Bambi stood up and spoke her piece and basically called out the foolishness I think more people need to call out shit like this go ahead and chat what Bambi had to say and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary This era is so lost and so confused. I created a message on my page to the younger girls who are following me, including my nieces, my younger cousins, any young girl who could benefit from the advice of not making a sex tape, not letting people record you having sex, not sending nudes, none of those things. Because once they're out of your hands, they're out of your hands and it's gonna live with you forever. So to the people who have a problem with me putting that message out there saying that I'm not qualified to give such advice I really feel like you guys are part of the problem like you can never tell anybody that they're not qualified to give advice based on their occupation doesn't make any sense at all so again I stand by my message to the younger girls do not let anybody record you having sex to the grown people y'all can do whatever fuck y'all want to do all right, so you guys just saw what Bambi had to say. And I agree with you, Bambi, 100%. Fuck them people trying to tell you to shut up and that you don't have the right to state your opinion. Everybody has the right to state their opinion at the end of the day. But I'm glad that you're calling out the foolishness instead of just looking at it and acting like it's okay. Because like she said, there's a lot of young girls who watch Black Ink. There's a lot of young girls who follow Donna and who follow, you know, these reality TV stars. And it's one thing if you want to be a freak and do, you know, freaky shit in the privacy of your own home. That's your business. But when you're in public having public sex you're allowing yourself to be videotaped you know you're being videotaped you know it's going to be on social media it's like have a little bit of class for yourself Donna like we know that it's a struggle for you we know you're a freak and all that shit but you know just realize that you do have a lot of young fans who do watch you and what you did there with Alex was just it was just straight trashy point blank period we want you to win we want you to be able to start doing better tattoos and shit but you know find your fame elsewhere don't don't stoop this damn low again bitch okay I don't want to see no more sex tapes with Donna in it this was some trashy ass shit so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know what y'all think about all this mess that's been going on today on social media you know everything from you know all the reviews coming in from the Black Panther movie breaking records to Drake dropping God's plan over the weekend to Black China being hacked and having her sex tape leaked and then to Donna 
purposely making a damn ratchet ass sex tape in the damn bathroom, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.